our product is unique because it has a long useful life, it is more efficient, it's portable. The other traditional systems are not uh, readily portable because they are made of concrete. So uh, it's a very unique product. Uh, biogas has been one of my uh, dream. It was inspired uh, by, I, I used to see RT in India. I, but I did not like that floating, the float the dome system. So I tried to make a fixed dome system. But I didn't want it uh, actually uh, people to take a time, take this and then start assembling it. It is a tedious and cumbersome thing. So I was thinking of designing something which is plug and play. They take it from me, just put it and start work. This is how I came up with this design. And with uh, Richard's help, we perfected it. Today we are in the market and we are doing very well. Think of my mother, for instance, who is in the village. Sometimes she has to wake up at 3 o'clock to start lighting the fire. To be able to prepare to milk the cow at 5 o'clock, with this kind of biogas, it just takes a few seconds just to light it on and within 10 minutes the water is hot for milking. I think it also saves time for our kids because remember our kids are going out there in the fields to look for firewood. Now they have biogas out of waste, what we could call waste, and actually that waste once it's gone through the biogas process, it becomes even a better manure. I believe this is our own locally uh, grown technology that we are trying in our environment. It makes more sense for us because it relates into what we are doing. Chamber, this is the gas chamber. And these three again. The product is a mold uh, from plastic and it's a um, uh, product with a very long life, with uh, more than 30 years useful life. It is um, a product uh, that comes in different sizes, but the smaller of that is branded the Polybiogas PTB uh, 1500. We've uh, tried it out in the field and it's giving out very good results in terms of cooking time. Um, we are able to achieve with farmers as high as 2.5 hours uh, using very little um, inputs, up to about 10 kgs of cow dung. I have used it for about two months. I have used it for two months. I have used it for two months. After then, I feed after I have used it. I have used it for lunch. I have used it for supper. I have used it for a long time. Sababu sasa kama mafuta ya taa situmi, situmi gazi ya kawaida na inanisaidia sababu ninapika na yo for about two hours a day. We've gotten a lot of assistance from the Climate Innovation Center since we were introduced to this center. Um, first of all, uh, it has, the, the center has managed to network uh, with various organizations. It has networked with uh, farmers, uh, farm organizations like you'll notice today we have cooperatives represented here from as far as Nyeri, Moranga and other places. Uh, the Climate Innovation Center has also offered uh, the Secretariat services because they provided all the backstopping for this workshop or this launch. Um, they have also provided very decent facilities for the launch because this uh, center is uh, excellent. And I think um, any organization would really appreciate that kind of service because it's a uh, it's very worthwhile service. TIC is encouraging people with innovative ideas in the area of clean tech to come forward with those ideas so that then we can help them both in, in, in various ways. And these ways is financing, we provide financing, we provide business advisory, we also give access to, to facilities. For instance, if you don't have an office, we'll give you an office. We also provide them with information where you need information and we help them to go to market like in the case of, of powder biogas. My request to you is when you go out please shout that there is something called CIC and CIC is helping Kenya to become more climate resilient.